online. You think I'm where love shall get stay? I found a lane. Hey, all the Fine, is it why I'll hate your life? Step by step, slow and fine. It's louder, 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 the fine ground on to the light Shout, shout in a castle Fat, fat, and a tight, tight Hulk it all, hide it, it's stupid I'm a fly, I'm a heavy wing Stangle along to the part of the high hole Oh, oh, hey, you're a hide Oh, 
cosmos if we are truly alone this question as old as human consciousness itself continues to perplex and fascinate us consider the sheer magnitude of the universe it's estimated that there are about 100 billion galaxies each containing up to 100 billion stars that's a staggering number to say the least yet despite the incomprehensible number of celestial bodies the universe remains a silent void devoid of any extraterrestrial signals the Fermi Paradox, named after physicist Enrico Fermi, encapsulates this conundrum. With such a vast number of stars, surely some should host life. Yet we've heard nothing. Could it be that we are indeed alone? This paradox leads us to the concept of the Great Filter. It suggests that at some point in the journey from inert matter to a civilization capable of colonizing the galaxy, there's a wall. A barrier so challenging that it eliminates almost every species that encounters it. Perhaps we are the first to cross this filter, thus explaining our solitude. Or, more ominously, the filter lies ahead of us, a future hurdle that threatens our existence. Another theory, the rare earth hypothesis, posits that the conditions necessary for intelligent life are so complex and specific that they are incredibly rare, maybe even unique to earth. Consider the Goldilocks zone, where a planet is just the right distance from its star to support liquid water or the existence of a large moon to stabilize the planet's axial tilt, ensuring a mild climate, or the presence of Jupiter-like giants to shield inner planets from catastrophic comet impacts. The list goes on and on, each condition narrowing the chances of life elsewhere. To summarize the vastness of the universe, the silence explained by the Fermi paradox, the potential existence of a great filter, and the incredibly specific conditions required for life all suggest that we might indeed be alone in the cosmos. In the grand cosmic theater, we may be the only actors and the only audience. This realization, while unnerving, underscores the preciousness of life and our responsibility to cherish and preserve it. For in the words of Carl Sagan, in all this vastness, there is no hint that help will come from elsewhere to save us from ourselves. And so, we return to our initial question, are we alone in the universe? The answer remains elusive, shrouded in the cosmic silence. But for now, all signs point to a solitary existence, a single spark of life amidst the cold, dark expanse of the universe. 